Pasha playing close to the shadow position. We see grenades going quickly into the A site. This will be a prompt one. Rez can raise the alarm that Pasha is in that shadow position, but Snatchy's there as well with two kills. And there are problems here on his pistol for NIP. Snatchy, good damage there. On to get right, leaving Lekra alone. We know what he can do with pistols though, and he's got the P250. No Kevlar to work though with it, and that's an issue. That means that he has to be absolutely perfect if the one versus three wasn't enough already. Some fancy stickers there to show off on that P250. Looks very nice, but will the headshots go his way? Very good discipline here from the Polish side as VP slowly but surely whittle that crow down. Two HP left. And surely he indeed Mihu will finish him. But the pro were just waiting. They are static. Now the footsteps will be heard. There's a flying player from Res. Mihu will have to engage though because Barley can't get the job done. Two kills for Mihu. And now there are weapons to collect. Instant flank from Dennis. Surely spots one player in the market. And uh, this is a big issue for Virtus Pro. Snatchy pressing forward, trying to take out the players in front of him before the one behind he causes a bigger problem. But there is Lekro with a Deagle. Would you expect? Look at the timing. They they pop at exactly the same time. And now we see a creep through the smoke. Neo's trying to play around it, but Get Right punishes him for it. This is looking quite methodical from NIP, but can they close it out? Another frag coming out from Get Right as well to make things slightly easier, but it's uh, both sides taking the punches at the moment and less than 30 seconds to plant the bomb. And with no smokes left, this does get a bit scary for an IP. That's a great play from Lecro. Spots both players, takes down one. Forrest in a 1v1 with an AWP. That's very favorable. Can he make it work though? Goes for the quick peek, gets the leg shot onto Bialy. Still a chance here for Bialy as he pushes forward. Forrest takes more damage. 11 HP, one bullet. Can change this one now, and it's going to be for Bialy as he gets himself. They will hit it again with a similar split. They've got very forward positions here. This will be difficult here for the VP players to defend. Pasha, will they spot him out? That's brilliant spray there, but Pasha still gets himself a frag. Goes for another one. Is punished though as the 4v3 ensues here. And NIP are doing a good job, but damage is still there from Snatchy. Looking to slow them down. One more peek. Oh, he's being seized with the elbow. Trying to adjust, but as soon as he looks away, I think it may, may have been Forrest. East one could have been pushed. Forrest has the bomb and he's alone. This is very dangerous. 35 seconds to go. The two NIP players on the bomb site need to do the damage. Rez will get one, as does Get Right, which really opens things up, things up. A passage is cleared for Forrest to get that bomb planted. 25 seconds, though, to do so, as Get Right holds angles. And he's got to hit the shots because there is no smoke grenade. Oh, there is. Forrest will be able to block off that jungle position. And Pasha has not got an angle. This is looking promising for an IP, or maybe not. Oh, he really had to land that frag. That is brutal. Creeping through the smoke is Bali, but Get Right will spot him. Had the better angle, it seems. And now Pasha, opportunity may have gone. Does he go for the gamble? He wants to draw a second player. One moving towards that connector position. And Forrest is not going to expect this. The flashbang's there, but it's too late. Pasha doesn't have a kit, though. There's one in front of him. You can see it there, but that would draw him out. Going for a 10 second defuse, but didn't even. On the pit position on A, but will they work this out in time? I don't think they will. In comes the push, and they're out of position. In the smoke. Do they fall back or do they stand and fight? Ooh, that would have been a big frag for Bali, but he'll take it in the face. Four headshots, four kills across the board here. Bomb is planted, Snatchy moving through connector, and two CTs are in market. Bomb ticking away. If nothing else, NIP have a bomb plot and two kills. That's already quite devastating here for VP. Their economy sucks. And Forrest starts things off well. Can't follow up onto Snatchy as he makes his way forwards now from short onto that B bomb site. That follow up engagement will not go his way as Neo's left with 11 points of health and perhaps not really wanting to try to do this with that health. And he's going to get shot in the back. There's no escape. So now NIP are going for a super fast kill of the A site. We've got Snatchy moving through Palace in the meantime. Mihu's running distraction. He's up close with Rez trying to reload his gun. He's got more CTs here. And with Snatchy in Palace, this is surely spelling disaster for NIP. Yeah, they're picking up all kinds of guns. This is awkward. Nice shot from Mihu. Nails get right as Lecro is just after trying to take some guns out of these hands of these VP players. Two fast frags, a minute to play with 14 HP. An AWP trained on his position. Surely no way he can do this. Oh, the repositioning from Mihu could have created an opportunity, but it he can look towards the lower area. He's got a small gap on the left-hand side. He can also jump up on top and look into mid, but he's being sprayed down. 
It's a good POV to watch me and you playing short on Mirage on the CT side. Barley left alone now towards the apartment area. Then it's in the kitchen and his uh, teammates are joining him. Lecro moving through the mid position. Maybe going to try and sneak into the short area. But he may meet Bali. But Bali's jumping. Lecro has heard that now. And surely he goes for the fast peak. Oh, the timing is brutal. Don't punch the desk. Yeah, there's a chance here for NIP to make this one work quite well. But Neo sneaks around the site. Can't find what he's looking for. And surely it's a save scenario now for VP. You can't really get back into that B site. Hold on to the AWP. Hold on to the AK. And NIP finds success. There's also an opportunity MIP could go down underpass after throwing the nades, but it looks like they're just going to go in, James. Well, are they? Oh. Rez has made his way in. Looks like he wants to go towards a short position, catching Mihu off guard, but Mihu's ready for it. They know a second player is here, but I think they're wondering what else is going on at the moment because the bomb is on a very long rotation. Patch is still on the A bomb site. And uh, they've held, and Neo's moving away immediately. I could see Neo on the radar looking towards shot. I can see him thinking in his movements, but Snatchy is killing with his movements. Lecro in the red now, holding towards CT, but he can't fire another shot, Snatchy. Three versus two, while moving over to that uh, triple position. But with only 16 HP, Lecro is surely not long for this. Mihu takes him out, and that's going to leave Forrest, but he will get dispatched of as well. And versus Pro, fine there. Looking to jump into that window, perhaps. Ooh, he's going to find an angle on Bialy. That is a big frag. That's two players now dead for VP. How do they save this one? NIP look like they could be good for that 10-5 scoreline ending the first half. It's actually pushes the B apartments. If NIP rotate to this position, this could be huge for VP. This could be their way back into the round. It's on Snatchy's shoulders right now. These T's know their angles, though. Rez, oh. I could just... I was waiting for that to happen. The way he was lined up there on the X-ray, you knew that peak was coming. And that leaves Pasha and Mihu again. Disaster for versus Pro. This is the last round of the first half. Mihu's got to go for it, and it's one versus five. Standing around the connector, wondering what might have been. Again, it looks like there will be no consecutive rounds, but he picks off Forrest on that short position. But now four players know where he is. Rez will move in and wait. One more headshot, and that's ten rounds for NIP. Mid position. Is this a fast charge into the short area? Forrest! Oh boy, he is sweeping. Two players taken out, but the bomb is still collected. And that's a lot of information for these uh, CT. Rez will stay towards A for the time being. They're rotating, but they're delivering almost all the kills in IP. Four versus two, and it seems the plan has been abandoned. The high ground advantage has been lost now towards the B bomb site. But Snatchy will try to clear out A while Neo still waits on shorts. Yeah, that PT50 doing well so far. Although, as I say, that Snatchy will lose the 1v1. And perhaps, indeed, the chances will be shut down for VP. NIP pick up the pistol. And now they know no one's there. But it cost them another $600. Hello. Pasha hiding behind the smoke. Waiting for a trade fragger. But he's got too many places to look. In the meantime, Versus Pro charging into the B bomb site. Forrest gets wiped out on short. Yeah, this is a really difficult situation to retake this B bomb site. VP have constructed a very difficult task here for NIP to try to overcome. Rez will peek out from short. Oh, going for the transfer. Looks good. Looked like it could be on, but it was not enough. Get right. And Dennis doing damage. Dennis, that's incredible. One more player to go now. Neo, one versus two. VP had everything going for them, but NIP, they can't be denied here. They find their way to success. Versus Pro again, focus on the B bomb side, but it's a fast rotation from Dennis here. They seem to have a read as to what Versus Pro are trying to do. Yeah, they've got everyone in position. I don't know how VP can break this. Dennis close, Lecro far away with the AWP. Oh my god, they're just moving in to the machine and they're not going to escape in one piece. Five players survive for NIP as they move themselves. Forrest is waiting behind the smoke, quietly so. With a silenced M4 no less. Notable at this point. Get right to the sandwich position. This will be hard to check for. Standing deep into the corner. He can't be seen from Palace. There is one. Now he has to press forward to get the second one, but he can't. Plenty of trades around the site. Three on three. Make it two as Mihu is taken out. And Versus Pro have not yet crossed to the site with the players who are alive, but that's one way to do it by Ali. We've got Forrest now in the uh, connector position. The bomb can't go down. Everything is covered. Trying to bait out a peak, but Dennis doesn't believe on the first try. He has an AWP. There's a flashback from his teammate. Not sure if it works, but the AWP certainly does. Spotting. Showing a little bit too much. And Pasha, they're both in the red, these CTs. 
Presses on forward. Oh, he sees him. He's trying to bait the trade frag. There he goes. But the insta-trade from Ninja's in pyjamas. And that will be that. 16 to 5.